Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm doing something a little different. It's more of a reaction video or slash breakdown. Um, if you already read by the title, it's basically about this crazy video of this guy just going around verbally assaulting women and then like after just macing her, which is like really fucking wild. Like I can't believe what I seen with my own two eyes, but uh, real quick, someone already did make somewhat of a reaction, I guess slash breakdown video of this. His name is Kodel Yoko. Sorry if I butchered your name. It'll also be on the screen if you guys want to go check him out. He does a pretty good video of just breaking it down and then also figuring out who this guy is. And he actually looks more into his content, which is just really disturbing and it's just weird. But if you're interested in that, go check him out. But in this video, I'm just trying to give a little more of my own thoughts. And before I even start, obviously, no, I'm not defending this man's actions. I believe he's totally in the wrong and he should be locked away and he said he should also not have a platform. I do believe there was probably some things that could have been done a little better by the woman who unfortunately got pepper sprayed. Not because I believe she was in the wrong, but because more of maybe it could have prevented her from being pepper sprayed. But yeah, let's just give it a quick watch and then I'll break it down after. My fat ass cock is ready to get hard for no, you. Cops are coming right Why now. would you call the cops on me, bro? I'm because just speaking. It doesn't matter. Fuck you, you little bitch, you little boy. Oh, you little. Whoa, what's wrong with you? Chill out, Back chill out, chill out. Hey. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. You just kick me in the balls. You back up. You back up. You back up. Throw that at me, you're gonna. Okay, so obviously as you can see, this guy is 100% in the wrong, this dude is just wild. There's no reason for him to fucking pepper spray here. Not even that, there's really no reason for him to even be going around just saying wild shit. But let me tell you why I feel like there was probably some things that could have prevented her from being pepper sprayed. Again, she's not in the wrong. I believe all of her actions were justified, especially her being mad. I think anyone in that situation would have been mad especially if it was, you know, a loved one or a friend. But let me just tell you guys my thoughts on it. So right here, when the guy's just insulting her or whatever, and she looks kind of mad and then kicks her, I have no problem with that. I think, honestly, a lot of people in the comments that I was reading on this video was say were saying that she shouldn't have assaulted him or whatever. However, I don't really think that action was unjustified and just unreasonable. I think anyone would have probably gotten irritated at that point. Also, the girl that kicks him, seems kind of tired and without trying to make assumptions you never know what the circumstances were beforehand they were probably just having a girls night out and they were probably just had a few drinks or maybe she got like a call or something unfortunate happened that made her somewhat tired or maybe seemed upset before this guy comes around and obviously pushes her even more to being upset or maybe she was just tired of this dude talking since maybe before the recording was caught on, this dude was already bugging them for like a good while. However, this is where um, I believe maybe things could have been handled a little better. It's when she stands up and starts pushing them back. Right here, we already see that he's already backing up. So I feel like it went from him being the aggressor to now being kind of pushed back. And again, it's justified. I don't, I'm not defending this man in any way. However, I feel like for her to keep pushing him back now made him feel kind of threatened and was the reason why he pulled out a pepper spray, which he shouldn't have done in the first place. She should have just stayed around this corner right here and maybe just kept them at bay because from the earlier clip the girl also said that they called the police so i don't really see why you would want to push him all the way out of the building especially when authorities are already coming in as you stated if that's true at least or unless you were bluffing but i feel like it would have been better plus i think it's also pretty good that it seemed like they were in a public place I feel like her just following him kind of made it to where he seemed like it was justified for him to pepper spray and a lot of the people in the comments were saying that just because she physically assaulted him it was okay to pepper spray him that's just untrue i don't see a reason why you would have that out as a weapon especially for a girl who just is trying to protect their friend from you obviously being the aggressor and you just being a prick but yeah i feel like she should have just kept him at bay 
unless he started to get physical i think that's when they all should have been trying to like hurt him or whatever i feel like once he was to get physical that's when you can actually start defending yourself or at least throwing stuff at him because just by her doing that he now has a reason or he now thinks he has a reason to pepper spray her. and everyone in the comments or at least some people in the comments even had that same ideal which is just atrocious i don't know how or why you would think that just because someone throws something at you after telling you multiple times to leave them alone that now you're in the right to pepper spray them especially when they're not as threatening as you are if that makes sense but yeah if we continue watching obviously he's backing up as we can tell and she, her friend right here is trying to stop her from continuing to push him out which obviously if you're in this situation you're going to be irritated and i know you're not gonna be thinking straight there's no way you're gonna be thinking straight however if any of you guys are unfortunately in this predicament i would say if you have a friend here as well that you should at least try to have a clear mind no matter how angry you are because you can prevent yourself from getting paper, pepper sprayed unfortunately how this woman was also it seems like they're in a public space so maybe people around them could have also prevented this guy from doing whatever if he was to get physical which is why i think it was probably a really bad idea for her to just keep coming towards him as obviously he's went from being the aggressor to now being the one being aggressed and then that was why he thought it was okay for him to pepper spray this woman but yeah after this uh she just keeps going and then she has her heel in her hand and this guy tells her to not throw the heel and obviously she's angry and she doesn't listen to this guy so this is where from the moment after she kicks him is where i feel like it just went downhill and she could have handled it better not because again she wasn't in the wrong but just to keep things from escalating where he could have gotten violent because i think the worst possible case especially if this guy was a fucking lunatic and didn't have the pepper spray but let's say he had an actual weapon that could have put their lives in danger that could have just went way off the rails and i feel like if you're with a group of friends you guys should definitely band together and just be on the ready in case if this dude actually tries to physically assault you guys because before this obviously he was just fucking running his mouth or whatever and even though it would probably be annoying as hell to deal with at least you guys as in this situation it seems you guys are in a public space there's more than one of you guys and as long as he doesn't do anything your guys' lives aren't necessarily in danger. And also one of the girls again stated that the police were coming. So as long as you guys could have probably just kept them from not doing anything outlandish and if he would have just kept running his mouth like an idiot, the cops would have probably came and then actually maybe put him in cuffs or interrogate him or detain him for being a weirdo. But yeah, after this, she just throws the heel and then this guy pulls out the pepper spray and just starts running. Also, this this situation isn't funny, but the way this girl just comes out of nowhere and then tries to stop him by like slapping him is just... I feel like, especially if you just saw that the other girl got pepper sprayed, I don't see a reason why you would do that because he can easily he could have easily just maced her as well. But yeah, after this, she just keeps running and then this guy steps out of the way and also this guy right here. But yeah, that's where uh, my thoughts are. I feel like uh, in that situation, if you're ever in that situation you should probably especially if you have friends to maybe just try not to escalate the situation to the point where you know some guy can actually maybe have a weapon or have um feel threatened enough to maybe hurt you because obviously no one with a clear mind or with common sense wants that to happen because that could have been really dangerous and it could have just went off the rails if the guy was fucking crazier now obviously if you if she was alone all of this would have been completely different and there's no way that you would just be calm if you were alone being harassed by this guy there's just no way but in that situation it seemed kind of ideal because they were in a public space they had friends the guy for what it seemed hadn't been trying to physically assault them and they also had the cops coming so from those four points it feels like everything after she kicked him didn't seem like she should have done that just because the situation at that point didn't really seem too crazy now if he did pull out a weapon or if he did seem like he was going to physically assault them that would make sense i would obviously see why you would want to push him back and want to hurt him but from that point it just didn't really help her and unfortunately she got pepper sprayed again i'm not defending this guy's actions if anything i'm trying to give a different view in case if anyone is in this situation and maybe you can just 
prevent that from happening but besides that the comments are also kind of crazy like some of these people are just i don't know where the thought process is just like this guy right here jdm underscore cinco freedom of speech baby lmao like i don't know what this guy is talking about like i guess technically he is correct because in the united states there is freedom of speech however just because you have that it doesn't mean that you should just be saying outlandish shit obviously or at least for people who have common sense this guy probably didn't have any of that growing up this guy also says big Bree 992 just imagine if it was the other way around in today's society that would be accepted i don't think that would be accepted either way i can't i really don't understand what these people are talking about yeah he told her too many times after she told him too many times first <laughs> what is this caption yeah the guy that posted this just made the caption of wow this dude is wild but he did tell her to back off but it's like she told him first so it doesn't really make any sense why he would do that but i don't know this dude is fucking dumb like uh, i just can't see why you would just go around pepper spraying people especially when you're the one asking for it it's, it's just stupid it's like going to school and then insulting your classmates and then once they want to fight you're just like oh i don't see why you would want to fight me and just pull out a pepper spray like no you're just a bitch like i don't get why you think that's okay but i don't know people are just stupid also i can't find the comment but the other day i was seeing this video before i wanted to make a before i wanted to make my own video on it there's this guy basically stating what everyone else was stating or mostly everyone else was stating where this guy's obviously in the wrong and he's just basically being a weirdo and he should be locked up and some other guy came in trying to bring politics into it and saying that he was a liberal or that he definitely voted for biden just for having that statement like i don't get where your politics would stand for you to believe that a man going around verbally assaulting women and then after things start getting a little hectic rightfully so you just start pepper spraying and that's okay like i don't get what political party you'd have to be in to think that's okay but you're obviously in the wrong one buddy <laughs> as i said even though this video wasn't funny i did chuckle only at the times where he pulled out the mace and then the girl just came out of nowhere because it wasn't for the fact that it was funny but it was just out of nowhere and you just didn't expect him to pull out a mace which is like it caught me off guard and i was like yo what the fuck is going on but yeah it's just it's just not okay to be doing this obviously and the point of this video again as i said is not to defend this man but i just wanted to break it down to maybe try to give an insight on how maybe you could handle this situation if you're ever in this situation just because i feel like there was possibly a chance where she didn't have to get maced and again none of it's her fault it's just unfortunate events because this guy just happened to have a mace on him but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video uh please give it a thumbs up i don't know if i'm going to be making more content like this but i just wanted to talk about it because this was just like such a weird video that i came across other than that hopefully everyone is safe and you never have to run into this fucking lunatic peace